EMC Networker provides for flexible backup and recovery by enabling federation of backup and recovery tasks to application owners within widely used mission critical applications. In the Networker 8.2 release, we have enhanced support for this workflow in Microsoft SQL Server by now allowing for database recovery operations to be orchestrated directly within SQL Server Management Studio. In this demo, I will review how a backup can be performed directly in this interface and then perform a database recovery with Networker from protection storage using EMC Data Domain Systems, all without leaving SQL Server's interface. So I have a sample test database here, and we called it uh, AdventureWorks 2012. And what I'm going to do is perform a recovery because there's some corruption on this database. So what I'm going to go do is launch the plugin in SQL Server Management Studio uh, from Networker. And you can see here, after I launch this interface, I have two tabs, Backup and Restore. Uh, in the previous version of Networker, we were able to orchestrate backups, so I'll review that here. And we had the ability to select the database that we wanted to leverage uh, and protect, and then um, also choose which options, which backup pool within Networker we wanted to target, um, as well as other options here, such as encryption options and compression options. And then there was also the ability for the application administrator to monitor the backup operations directly from this interface as well. But I want to show for you here is the newly enhanced functionality we've added to this uh, feature set in Networker 8.2, and that's the restore capability. So I have here this database, so let's go ahead and recover it. So the first thing I'll do is specify the SQL interface inter instance, and then specify the actual database that I want to recover. So in this case, AdventureWorks 2012. And you can see here now all of this information populates. So there's the ability for me to uh, select a specific point in time that I want to browse for backup. And then I can see here all of the backups that pertain to that particular browse time query. So I see here, um, uh, before I recorded this video, um, I ran a backup of this database, so I want to go ahead and pick that backup to do a recovery. But before I do that, let's review some of the other flexible options we have on the restore. So I can also uh, choose where I want to restore those database files, um, whether uh, I want to specify where the data file folder and the log file folder should be as well as other recovery options, uh, whether I want to overwrite the existing database, um, specify a certain recovery state, and then select a debug level for logging uh, in the monitor window. And then um, also the ability to do uh, the monitoring of the action. So let's go ahead and kick off the recovery here. So I'm going to select this particular database for recovery, run that and then you can see as soon as I run it, it goes directly to the monitor tab and we go ahead and kick off the recovery. So this is now leveraging uh, Microsoft VSS to do the recovery of the database and interfacing directly with SQL Server APIs to properly um, place that database in, in its correct location. And you can see here that the restore has completed successfully. I'll go ahead and just click OK. And then the last thing I'll do is close this interface. And now I can bring my database online. So we'll just do that and say bring online. And very quickly, you can see that the database is brought brought back up. So you can see how Networker is providing for flexibility and a lot more efficiency in the IT workspace by uh, enabling database administrators to orchestrate their own backups and now with Networker 8.2 recoveries for SQL Server databases. Thank you for watching this demo.